29 senators are banding together today in a call to speed up the U.S. exit from the region. I'm joined by Democratic Senator Mark Udall of Colorado, a member of the Armed Services Committee. Senator, good to see you. The Senate just voted you? to confirm Leon Panetta as Defense Secretary during the hearing. You said we're going to have to make some tough choices in Afghanistan. Do you expect to see a difference from uh, Secretary Gates, and how important will he be for the Obama administration going forward? Look, Jose, uh, Secretary Gates has done an outstanding job. I think you'd find almost every senator and every member of the House agreeing with that uh, point of view. I believe uh, Director Panetta at the CIA will be an outstanding Secretary of Defense as well. He'll pick up where uh, Secretary Gates has left off. He has a long career uh, across the federal government, and I think we're going to be well served by uh, Secretary Panetta to be. It's interesting because, you know, uh, Panetta's long public service record isn't necessarily focused on the military as much as uh, others in the past. Do you think that's going to change things? I think what Secretary Panetta will bring is an understanding of the intelligence side of the war against terror and what we face in places like Afghanistan and Pakistan, Yemen. The list is long, as you know. He'll also bring a smart budget cutter's mindset to the Pentagon. We do have to reduce expenditures out of the Pentagon. The leadership there, starting with Admiral Mullen, has pointed out one of the greatest national security threats to America are our unsustainable deficits annually and our long-term debt load. So I think Secretary Panetta is just perfectly uh, uh, ready to uh, be a, a, an excellent Secretary of Defense. Yeah, there were some pretty heated exchanges, uh, uh, as heated as the Senate ever gets, I guess, on this issue today on the floor. Do you think that we're going to be seeing more of that divide between both political parties on the issue? Look, it's interesting in both parties, there are different points of view, but the question isn't whether we're going to leave Afghanistan, it's how and when we leave Afghanistan. We were attacked from there. 10 years ago, there's a way to stabilize Afghanistan, do it in a way that's Afghan good enough, and ensure that Al Qaeda doesn't take root again. Uh, but in the process, I expect progress to unfold when it comes to handing off the responsibilities right. to the Afghan government. And we've got to make sure that American taxpayer dollars are used wisely. There's a lot of corruption there. Uh, that has to begin to be drawn down uh, as we move forward. You know, in this unconventional war, uh, will we ever see a, a victory and, and a defeat of, of the other side? That, that's, that's well put. These are unconventional wars. There won't be a signing of a treaty with the Taliban, uh, but we can have success. And that's an Afghanistan that can secure its own borders. It doesn't allow Al Qaeda or other terrorist groups to take root. And frankly, you, can, you can't forget Pakistan. It's true. Pakistan is a key part of the effort in this part of the world. It's an unstable country. They have nuclear weapons. There are terrorist groups alive and well in Pakistan. That's part of the reason we have to leave Afghanistan in the right way. Uh, it stabilizes the region. Senator Udall, a pleasure speaking with you, sir. Thanks so much thank, for your time. Thank you, Jose. And stick with MSNBC for special coverage of the president's address. Lawrence O'Donnell kicks things off along with Rachel Maddow. It all starts at 8 Eastern right here on MSNBC.